Hello, beautiful people. It is Travel Tuesday, and we have been waiting and super excited about seeing the Egyptian uh, display. We haven't been this excited since uh, Pompeii was at the Da Vinci, so we were really, really happy with that, finally getting tickets. Um, we have a lot of new people, so what we like to do is we do like to travel on this channel, and during the days we travel, it's really harder to comment back, but we do try to incorporate everybody because we wanna do this uh, journey together because the world is big and beautiful and we wanna share all of the beauty. So if you have any stories about Egypt, be sure to comment below. And hopefully we don't miss any comments, but sometimes we do. All right, let's go explore this big, beautiful world. Bye guys. We have arrived. We're at the top of Salt Lake City. It's big. It is big. It's too big now. I liked it when it was smaller, but there you go. They make the fertile banks of River Nile their home. They farm, build settlements, craft goods. That's got to be a hard life, do you think? The Nile is the country's lifeline, making crops grow, transporting goods. It's really cool. The back wall. I'm going to show you. It's like just the entire thing. It's like the Nile River. Isn't that neat how they did that? Sorry guys, the, I know a video or a picture of a thing doesn't work out very well, but look at that. It's the west, south, of, ooh. Oh. I'm trying to get a video of this, I guess I don't know what it is. Oh, they're trying to reconstruct. What is this? By the standard, Takar is a wealthy Egyptian woman living in Thebes during the 25th dynasty. So, 765 BC. By the standards of the time, the lady reaches the high age of 60. Wow. Wow. Maybe she was really loved, right? Look at that. So they're reconstructing. The CT scans also revealed that all the internal organs of the deceased are removed and replaced with a homogeneous substance. So that's, this chick was, they, they reconstructed her. Based reconstruction. Based reconstruction, let's see. Attempting to show something. Who's this? Uh, he looks young. Very young. Okay. That's cool. Oh, that's aging. Aging. Oh, that's... Is it... Oh, is it a girl? Oh...
<laughs> I can't remember what the sun god and moon god names were. second court in the middle and the third court at the back and then this structure over here on the side is the bakery every day bakers would bring bread to these little rectangles here which are all individual little altars here go ahead and press that button right there this one yep okay so the so the oh. bread and the bakers or rather the bakers stand there the bread and the priests come out through here and it's delivered to all of these altars here and then priests attend to, different types of priests attend to um, the third court and the first court. You can see them here in the center. Oh. They're going to kind of split up a little bit, but they're also going to meet uh, an important blue dot moving this way. And that is the Pharaoh Akhenaten. You can see oh. him right there. And he's going to go back into the third court and do what he needs to do for the day while priests gather out here to perform their ritual with the bread. And then eventually, Akhenaten comes out of the third court and heads back this direction. That door there, that gate, leads to the royal residence, where you'd head back home. And these breads would all be gathered up and given to uh, the commoners. Oh. Right? Neat, huh? And that would happen every day. Wow. That's a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. These are the bake houses. Do you want to press the buttons? They're almost pressed the buttons. So if you click here, you can see these are the bake houses. Go for it. So that's where the bread is actually baked. And then there's warehouses that would store ingredients and things like that. And then finally, the person who's in charge of everything is the chief baker who gets to live in a nice house at the end with this beautiful little pond. Isn't that cool? I love this little display. <laughs> That's funny. That is cool. Oh, neat. How many slaves did they estimate they had? You know, I don't know off the top of my head. I would think a lot just to but even... But it's like a... It's certainly lots of slaves and also there was some forced labor. So like slaves forced labor. There's also, I believe, paid labor. Hang on a second. I think it's on the side. <laughs> oh, it, it shows the lower, middle, and upper class. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the lower class would have been made up of both laborers and forced laborers. So all the way up at the fair, pharaoh up at the top, and then all the way down Bee here. Beekeepers? Come I, on. They I should know, be I up a little bit. <laughs> I was like, beekeeping is easily as important as this, but even but it's so interesting, right? Just yeah. Baking being part of all of this, yeah. right? All these bakers were still down here in the lower class. That's just crazy. The army was above the priests? These are all kind of... The same? I think this is something I don't know about the way this is arranged. Is I don't know if this is all in order yeah. or if this is like... It must be. Yeah. Interesting. Kind of macabre though. So the inner coffin and mummy of Takar lids for a canop canopic jar. We'll, we'll look at that. It's they did live forever. Their names are forever remembered, which is interesting. Dark as well. 
and it's a singer. to get the battle filled relief because I think it's kind of sad and tragic if you look at it. Yeah. Kind of close. I not see that. Dude, it's a battle filled relief. It's them fighting. <laughs> Just with sticks. Oh yeah, look. You've got the royal chariot. Do you see that? And he's got the bow and arrow. Chariots are dangerous. <laughs> War is dangerous, I guess, you know. See if I'm gonna go to heaven. So did you get to go to heaven? You didn't even get to go to heaven? If you do like one thing wrong. Okay, so then... before gaining admittance to the afterlife that follows death, you must make a declaration in front of the gods of justice that you have not committed certain sins. Ooh. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. You enter the court there, you can see the Ba, your soul bird, and beneath him the goddess of birth, the goddess of nutrition, the god of destiny. You see Anubis, the god of death rituals, who is in charge of the scale. Oh no. I'm scared. A soul eater? I haven't mistreated animals. Well, that's actually true. <laughs> Okay, I haven't spoken without thinking. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, yeah. On. I'm gonna get eaten. I haven't started a quarrel without reason, only to protect my property. Things oh. you own. The things you own own you. Okay. I haven't raised my voice. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to be eaten by this, oh, oh, he's getting ready. He's getting, the soul. he's getting hungry. Oh, I haven't been careless. It's so vague. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with that one. I think I have, I try not to be careless. I haven't caused tears. Oh, great. I'm going to die. I'm going to hell. Can we learn about this before so we don't? Let's see. I haven't caused pain or hunger to anyone. Not intentionally. Yeah, so I'm going to put I agree. Okay. Okay. I haven't stolen anything. I agree. I've never stolen anything. Please save me. Protect me. Your heart isn't consistent with truth. You will die a second and final death. The afterworld remains close to you. What did I do wrong? You have to be like perfect? So, like, literally nobody ever, ever goes then. If you, if you have to be perfect, great. All right. There you go, guys.